How the hell are you doing, Internet? It's Tyler with more Paper Mario, but not just any Paper Mario. This is actually, quite possibly, the best version of Thousand Year Door you've ever seen. Why do I say that? Because it is in HD and it's in widescreen. Well, how the hell did we achieve that? It's actually a result of two separate modifications, the first one being a custom-made true widescreen hack to avoid stretching for 3D textures. And you'll see like in the menu and stuff, holy shit, Gumbilla's dead. You'll see in the menus and stuff that the 2D textures, which is funny because it's Paper Mario, but Paper Mario is actually a 3D rendered texture, just very thin 3D texture. Anyways, like the menus and stuff like that, the true 2D textures are still stretched because it only applies to the 3D textures. Um, but it is a true widescreen. It covers the whole screen without being stretched. Um, the other side of this is a custom-made HD texture pack, and I hear you saying, but Tyler, uh, Dolphin already has, you know, up -resing. it can already do 1080p. Well, I could show you a comparison. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna die. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck baskets. Well, we're gonna see what the game over screen looks like in HD, guys. <laughs> um... Well, fuck, that would have been so cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> the, it, it can up res to, uh, 1080p, but the, it's, it doesn't look nearly as good as this, and I, I would encourage you to take a look at that yourself, um, and see the difference. The HD textures can be found in the Dolphin forums, I'm gonna give you guys a link in the description for that as well. Um, it looks like that texture pack is actually a collaboration of work from a group of devoted Paper Mario fans, which is super cool that, you know, Nintendo's not giving us what we want, so we just said, screw it, we'll do it ourselves. And that's just super cool to me. Um, but yeah, if there's uh, interest, I'd be more than happy to do a detailed guide of how to get these mods up and running. Uh, other than that, I should probably mention uh, I recently did what I call a concept talk about the Paper Mario series. Um, so basically what it is, is I compare every entry in the series and I present a fairly, I think it's plausible, um, reasoning for why Nintendo decided to change the series so much into the disappointments known as Sticker Star and Color Splash. I had a blast making it and I would love to hear your opinions on it. Because I'm assuming, you, since you're here, you're Paper Mario fans. Anyways, um, after I finish this battle, I'm going to wrap it up. And hopefully, I can counter. Just, I don't have any items on my inventory right now. And I'm playing uh, with some... <laughs> I didn't even mention that. That's why it's so fucking hard. Because I forgot I'd done this. But I, um, I've actually modified the enemy's HP to be... Um, 1.5x higher and them to do 1.5x damage or something like that. It's just a simple cheat you can download and apply. And <laughs> I can include that in the tutorial for this as well if that's something you're interested in. I thought it was cool because normally I kick this game's ass, but uh, but making that modification actually makes it really difficult. Anyways, um, I guess I'm going to call it for now and uh, thanks for watching. I will catch you later.